Hi everyone and welcome back to the September SD League 1 or tournament. Today we have a game between Hippie and CRPR. CRPR, one of the newer players in the tournament who's played in the last couple. Hippie has been here since pretty much the start. Hippie, the master of the meme. His channel will be linked below. He has a YouTube channel and he does love his meme videos. So I highly recommend checking those out. They are rather entertaining. Today we are seeing CRPR play as the 8th Infantry on the left hand side of the map and on the right hand side of the map we have Hippie playing as the 79th tank. Hippie will be coming in hard with the tanks at some point I would assume but at the moment he has gone heavy Razvedka in UAZs. He's got a lot of Razvedka out in fact. There's three up there, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight squads. One squad is about to come up against a Bradley. If he has realized and has got his troops out of there. Oh, instant hit. S25 rocket attack jet coming in. The Tanner special. Going straight for that Bradley. There's a Chaparral there though. Bradley has hidden. S25 is peeling off. Good choice by CRPR to bring in those Chaparrals early. Will scare off the S25. Hippie grabbing an early foothold in this side of Delta. There is still an ongoing epic debate in my head about Delta on this map and how beneficial it is for the player that is in Hippie's position since they sort of have that good foothold at this side and nowhere near as much at the other side, which sort of is the player that should hold this point. I still debate that in my head for this map. It's dead. Is it dead? It is dead. There's one very dead SU-25. I mean, the Bradley's dead as well, but SU-25 taken down pretty early. He'll be pushing up with these Razvedka here. He sent some right round the back there. There is a Bradley there waiting. CRPR. That's a good position, CRPR. I think a lot of people would forget to do that and ignore that back point. Or that sort of road through there. So well done. Because I, I'm pretty convinced not everyone would think of that. Hippie is being a bit aggressive down here. I note that he doesn't actually have any tanks in currently. He is pushing with Razvedka and the UAZs with the heavy machine guns. He has an eye tour there. But unfortunately it's not going to be very good against all those infantry. There's more infantry and BMP2s coming in. And there is finally a T-62 rolling in that side. Cluster Bomber coming in there. Dropping in the middle, not sure it actually got any kills, unfortunately he's also dead. Two MiG 31s in, wow. I'm surprised Hippie can afford that with the amount of stuff he's got on the map. Hippie in a very secure position now if he manages to take this. Reinforcements obviously coming in from CRPR, but they're going to be in late and Hippie is in a very nice position. He sits in this side of the forest. He can probably get into this side as well. He is pushing up the BMP-1 there to go to this side. Unfortunately, I think he's got an early advantage. That said, he hasn't bought any command vehicles yet. And it's currently plus five to CRPR. So if CRPR could manage some sniping of some CVs once Hippie brings some in... But obviously that's where a lot of early cash from Hippie has gone. He spent it on units rather than spending it on commands. Whereas two commands have been brought in on the other side. That's over 200 points immediately. Mortars now being utilized against any forward units from CRPR. Tow Cobra in now. Although there is an SU-25 rocket coming in which is possibly going to go for it. Or possibly going to attack the building. Who knows? It's going for the building. The troops were already routed and running away. SU-25 taking a lot of hits. Oh, a second loss of an SU-25 to a Chaparral. Chaparral's been buffed that much? That's, that's quite impressive. The S25s take a lot of damage in this game, and I'm just surprised to see them get wiped out so quickly by a single Chaparral. 
very heavy push here from Hippie now. He's pushing across the entire map, basically. I think he's pretty much overwhelming Pua CRPR. He is pushing into the back points as well. Hippie has not bought any commands. He is completely foregoing buying commands and is going for total map domination here. Loads of reinforcements coming in now down here for CRPR. Lots of engineers, fire teams. But it could be too late. I mean, Hippie has managed to pick off lots of things when they've been on their own. CRPR obviously up against a lot in terms of aircraft. Strafing runs used against that BMP there. I'm just looking to see, look at the amount of stuff that Hippie has on the map now. Red is certainly outnumbering blue. I wouldn't count CRPR out yet, he's bringing in a lot of infantry and he's bringing in another command, he's obviously feeling confident that he can re-secure this point at least. Sending a lot of this up this way, There's various bits and pieces moving through the forest here. Side shot coming in there, oh, just got behind the trees in time. Cobra getting off some nice hits there. Nice toe Cobra shots with the eye toe. It's taking out plenty of these BMPs and stuff. Unfortunately, the Osa has now moved up. He's probably going to lose that Cobra. Yep, there it goes. Osa is very low on missiles. It only has one left. There's another Cobra coming in up here, but it only has rockets. But that early push for Hippie has been expensive. He is now bringing in commands. There's two there. One, I assume, stopping at that point. One will be going to Golf or Delta. He's also bringing in Sapri commanders here. I assume one of them will eventually go... They, they both seem to be going around Foxtrot. And Foxtrot is the most points available to him for a single capture point with three. Still plus three to CRPR. He could still win this on points. I mean, Hippie's spending a lot right now. He's had to spend for over 400 there. Probably closer to 500 on bringing in commands. So that's, you know, probably a couple of supply drops worth. Which means that right now, all of those points are being funneled into infantry, tanks, helicopters whatever crpr is bringing in so this is crpr's chance to fight back we're eight and a bit minutes into this game almost nine minutes into this game and it is far from over CRPR is coming back. Look at this. Nice push in the middle here. And there's not much there from Hippie, remember. Hippie pumped out all those units at the start. Very aggressively. Very effectively. But he has now had to spend a lot on commands. And all the money he's spent on commands now mean that he's not brought in a lot of infantry, a lot of tanks, or anything else to support his front line. Therefore, the pushback is coming. Abrams coming in down here, fighting Falcon in here. Not sure what it's going for. He's going for ground attack strafing run on something. No, nope. veered off. Oh, youch, I was going to say. There's an Osa there, the MiG-31's there. It's an unfortunate loss. Points now swung in Hippie's favour, plus one currently, soon to be plus a few more. This point neutralized. Good use of a Cobra. Needs to be careful though, because there is that anti-air in there. No, there isn't. The anti-air is dead. Very nice. Engineers flash pushing up and a fire team. Another fire team here. Look at this fight back coming now. CRPR re-controlling this point. That command is going to be dead very shortly.
An impressive early rush in many senses, Hippie, but uh, CRPR doing the right thing, calling your bluff, bringing in lots of stuff now because he knows you have to buy commands eventually. Hippie, though, now able to bring in loads of T62s down here. He's got an SU-25 AT flittering around at the back there. Hasn't got his command out of there yet, so he's still only plus three. Some more to use from CRPR now. More infantry coming in. Very good use of mortars from Hippie. I will say that he's managing to take out and stun a lot of CRPR's forces. This command should die, surely. There's one unit left in that squad. Mortars coming in on those guys. They are running. Some of my 24s being called in there, I think. By Hippie. Lots of mortars coming in against these guys. There's only one unit left there. SC-25 AT coming in. Going for a ground attack run. I was about to say there was a chaparral here, but it's been moved up there. He could do with moving that further forward. It might still get some shots off. Oh, that is an unfortunate loss of a big tank. This 25 AT will get out alive on this occasion. Has taken two shots from that Chaparral, though. This force here is still engaged and pushing from Hippie. Unfortunately, CRPR never managed to take it out. Still very good mortar use by Hippie as well. Just hitting anything that moves on the front lines. It must be extremely annoying and frustrating for CRPR. He has my extreme condolences in this game. It is really frustrating to be bombarded every time you move a unit. MI-24Vs coming in there. Anti-air, but they do have ground attack rockets as well. Two Cobras being pushed up here. Unfortunately, they are going to come up against an Osa there. He needs to be careful with them. They are also taking fire from the BMP-2s and the infantry, probably. Here they come, the MI-24 anti-airs. They're missing massively. Wow. They've actually used all their missiles. Oh. They got away with it. The last two missiles they had, one each, actually hit their target. Oh, those poor engineers flash. Caught between everything. Completely surrounded. CRPR massively, massively ahead in points there. But Hippie now... Eh, well, Hippie now has the map control. He has the air control. He has the ground control. That pushback from CRPR was working really well, but Hippie just had more to deal with what CRPR was pushing forward. And very careful control of those mortars made a lot of difference for Hippie there. He was able to just pin down lots of forward-facing units. Four T-62s here moving in along with an MI-8 TA recon unit coming in there. And there's the reveal. All that fire going in. The squad is dead. Hippie still hasn't got his command in this point, I don't think. No, he's got it out and it's sat in that building, but it's not counted as being in the point. I don't think Hippie's realised. Could use some mortars to stun those tanks. They're not going to do a lot of damage to those tanks, though. They will take off little pips. M1 Abrams would be really, really useful here, but it is getting very close to the T-62s. It needs to be careful. It's already half health, and the T-62s will do more damage to it the closer it is. It's also now side onto them. He needs to get that out of there, because as soon as that smoke clears, he's going to be taking multiple shots. He is pulling it right back. Really wise move. He needs to get that repaired, really. Toe Cobra coming in, but he's already under fire from the T-62. There's no recon up here, unfortunately, for CRPR. Toe Cobra has managed to stun that, but is spinning out of control itself and is stunned. Can't get off an ITO at the moment. It is going to be under fire immediately again. 
Good use of mortars to try and stun it again, though. Good use of Toe Cobra on this infantry here. Another little push going through this middle point. Or the middle forest, I should say. For CRPR. But once again, air control completely on the side of Hippie here. Bringing in aircraft is unfortunately very suicidal for CRPR now. He has a good chance of pushing through the middle and potentially getting to that command though. There is nothing protecting the back end. CRPR just needs to break through. But he needs fast moving units and infantry jogging across an open field are not it. It just requires Hippie to bring in one bomber to deal with that or a couple of choppers if he's got some more to bring in. He really, really needs something that can move fast and hit these commands at the back. In some respects, I mean, he's got he's got the MiGs and stuff. There's MiG 23s in as well now to deal with the choppers. I was going to say maybe getting a chopper around the back, but no, Hippie, Hippie will have plenty of aircraft. He has the air control to do it. Chaparral's getting some shots off, but unfortunately missing. He got one hit there. It's not enough to do any major damage. It will get out alive. CRPR getting some shots off on this chopper now. It is going to return fire though, or it wants to, but it is stunned. Spinning out of control. CRPR has managed to kill it. He'll be pleased with that. He needs to get across here and kill that command quickly. Abrams still alive here, still needs a repair. Two more Abrams coming in. He will be able to push this point hard. Artillery in now, finally. Hippie has realised his command was not in there. He is now plus six. Artillery piece in again to perform some harassment. He still has his mortars alive. They've just moved a little bit. Engine is flash pushing up here. Unfortunately, he's going to be coming up against a vehicle which he can't really deal with. Mortars again laying down the pain up here. Hippie's now quite spread out. CRP has managed to push through, but the SU-25 AT is in and is killing off those vehicles. Very easy targets. Obviously, being in an open field like that, you need something that's going to move fast or move through as much forest as you can. I mean, he could even do a strafing run potentially on the infantry. He is turning back around. That's probably what he's going to do here. No, veering off. I would have thought he maybe did a strafing run with the main cannon on those infantry. Good push going on here. Motosaki Metis is there, but it won't be enough to kill these Abrams that quickly. Very nice shots there, doing a lot of damage. Fire team almost there. Has plenty of ammo left for its main gun and the M249. There we go. Strafing run now on those infantry. Immediately annihilated them. The guns on the aircraft right now are so incredibly powerful. They mince anything on the ground. They mince helicopters. Who needs missiles when you have those forward guns? And obviously its ability to just tick off those anti-ground missiles. It takes me a lot longer to lock targets than that thing does when I'm playing DCS, that's for sure. A valiant, valiant effort here from CRPR, but Hippie is getting ever closer to getting into Bravo. This side is just pushing more and more forward. CRPR doing a good job at getting a little foothold here, but it's just not going to be enough, I don't think. Hippie currently plus six with 20 minutes to go. I'm really concerned that, you know, there's big tanks. There's a T-80 UD coming in from Hippie now. He obviously feels he can spend that cash on a big tank. So he's feeling fairly confident. And every time an aircraft comes in from CRPR, immediate response from those MiG-31s. Wow. MiG-31s missing all but one of their missiles. And the OSA is currently out of ammo. And is dead from the fire team. Nice. Fire team doing the work with an AT4. Artillery on the uh, anti-air there. 
Hippie is mean with his artillery and his mortars. CRPR in good position here. Has managed to take out a lot of hippie stuff here and kill a lot of the stuff here. Unfortunately, his CV is about to be engaged by the Razvedka. He is running it away. They weren't in range to engage with the anti-tank. He needs to move this fire team to respond quickly though to the Razvedka. I think that may have retreated on its own. But obviously Hippie is paying attention, knows it's there. He is getting closer. He is continuing to do damage to it. It's 25 AT coming in there to take out those units at the front as well. SU-25 AT is absolutely wrecking shit. Going for the command as well. Suicide run. Veering off, in fact. F-16 cluster brought in to try and make it veer off as well. CV running away. T-80 now going for it as well. Unfortunately, he has lost those infantry, obviously. He's also lost the cluster bomber. The MiG-31s came in again. Is that the command being killed in here? I didn't even see what killed the command in this point. Poor CRPR. been that unit there was it yeah and there's the surrender commiseration crpr that was really hard fought yeah hippie was ahead in kills i'm not surprised with the aircraft kills he got but that was very hard fought crpr well done i thought you you had a really good chance of pushing him back earlier on in the game there and i honestly thought you were going to do it but hippie just managed to pull it back but well done. You give Hippie a really good run for his money there. MiG 31's doing a really good job. What else did a really good job? The, the mortars were doing pretty good. SU 25 obviously doing a really good job. The T 80 did well. On the other side, Bradley did pretty good at the start of the game. Abrams was doing a pretty good job. Commiserations against the RPR. That was very hard fought. Good game, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. Be more warner this week. We're also apparently getting some more information on Suchet very soon. And the NDA for the strike team goes down tonight. So you will be able to watch some of this stuff over on the SD League channel. So do check that out. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll catch you all later.